am I respectful to my parents because it pleases Allah? Then what do I do in the house? I help my family around the house. It is not against your uh, masculinity and your, your role as the king of the house to go and help in the kitchen, believe me. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did it. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did it. There is a very beautiful uh, <coughs> story on the Sira where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa once was helping Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha to make some uh, bread. She was, she was helping her make some bread. Now she was, she was, she put the bread on the fire and you know, she was cooking the bread and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was also cooking the bread. And after a while, she had cooked three or four of them and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had not even cooked one. So she laughed and she said, yeah, so you don't know how to cook bread. So Allah, the Nabi of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Aisha, it is not that I don't know how to cook bread. He said, the reality is, that the fire will not touch that which the hand of Muhammad has touched. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, that is why my bread does not cook. He said, not because I don't know how to cook bread. He says, it is that the hand, that the fire will not touch something which the hand of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has touched. Imagine the fire will not touch something which the hand of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has not touched. How can the fire touch something or someone who does the work of Nabuwat? Allah is the work of Dawah. Inshallah, this is our Akhidah with, with regard to the work of Dawah. How can the fire touch someone who dedicates his life to do the work of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? So you do that, you help in the house. And then what do you do? You sit with the house, with the children, and you do some talim. Read some Quran, read some Tafsir, read some Hadith, talk about the benefits of things. Talk about the Sira, talk about the Sahaba, talk about the Awliya Allah, talk about the good things of Islam with the children on a daily basis. I'm not talking about, you know, one day you do this, no, no, I'm every single day, one, and make it fun, make it, you know, a, a time of, of good cheer, a time where children are interested to listen to the stories of the Anbiya, stories of the Sahaba, which are better stories than that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrated Ahsanul Qasas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called the story of Yusuf alayhi salam in the world. These are the best of stories. You spend time in that. Then you have your dinner. All the while when you are eating, you are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have your dinner, you pray Isha, Salah, and then before you go to sleep, you make wudu, then you do the atkar of the, of the, of the night, you read, you read the Surah Sajda, you read Surah al and so on and so forth, and then you go and you sleep, and when you sleep also, you sleep in the way Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to sleep. Now 24 hours, even though you have been engaged in your work, in your family and everything else, 24 hours has been converted into the worship of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. وَبَاءَ خَلَصْتُ جِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ First part, individual life, how can I fulfill the maqsad of my creation? Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned in addition to this, his maqsad for creating this ummah. Where in Surah al Imran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat linnas. For what? How? Ta'amuruna bil ma'roofi wa tanhauna anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah. Allah said you are the best of people. And you have been extracted and selected for the people. Allah did not say minannas, Allah said linnas. For the people. For whom? Allah did not say guntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat minannas. Allah did not say guntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat lil muslimin. No. Allah said ukhrijat linnas. Who is nas? Nas is the Muslim. Nas is the Hindu. He is the Buddhist. He is the Sikh. He is the Christian. He is the Jew. He is anybody. He is the atheist. The Muslim was created for him to do what? Ta'amuruna bil maru. To enjoy that which is good. What is the number one of that which is good? Islam, Tawheed. To present to him Islam. Number one. What else is good? Everything which is beneficial for people is good. Education is al maru. Alleviating sickness is al-maru. Alleviating poverty is al-maru. 
helping the oppressed is al maruf freeing people from the burden of debt is al maruf digging of wells providing drinking water providing housing providing cleaning up the cities preventing water and air pollution all of these things which are beneficial to mankind are al maruf sometimes we make a very narrow interpretation of al maruf as haram and halal so then we feel that our only job is to go around making fatwa this is haram this is halal 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 la hawla la quwwata illa billah this is not islam haram and halal is maruf but it is not that is not the only thing which is al maruf If that is the only thing which is almaruf, then how to explain the hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said that if someone invokes my help under helpful fadl, today I will go and help him. How do you explain the action of none other than Abdullah bin Omar radhiyallahu anhu? Who was in etikaf in Masjid Al Nabawi? A man came to him and he said, "Tuma Allah, you are in etikaf." So he said, "What is wrong with that? Is nothing is wrong with that? But I came because I need your help very desperately in a particular matter. I need you to talk to someone. But you are sitting here in a sakaf." Abdullah bin Omar said, "No problem. I will come with you." He said, "You break your sakaf." He said, "Yes." He said, "How can you break your sakaf?" He said, "Because my habib, who is his habib, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said, my habib said that this is superior to sitting in a sakaf. So I will come with you." Who is a bigger alim than than Abdullah bin Umar رضي الله عنه? He is one of the people who was who was given the the right to make fatwa in the time of Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم at that at that, at that time and in the time of Abu Bakr Siddiq رضي الله عنه. Maru wa nahiya lil munkar. What is al munkar? Number one munkar is shit. One among the munkar munkar is shit. Inna shirka la zulmun azi. In addition to that, what else is munkar? Everything which is harmful to society is munkar. We tend to, unfortunately, view things today in a very narrow perspective, and that's a very detrimental and problematic thing for the Muslims. Today we talk about the hijab, and we say that in France they have banned the niqab, and so this is uh, this is a bullum against the Muslim women. Yes. Of course, it is. No doubt about this. But my question to you is very simple. My question to you is that today the body of the woman is used as a commodity to sell everything from biscuits and cookies and cakes to motorcycles to aeroplanes to cars to fashion to everything. Is this not al munkar? Is it not your job to stop that? Is it not your job to say that we Muslims are against? the oppression of women is it your job or not is it my job or not tell me what do you think will happen if the muslims today are known as people who stand for the upliftment of women who so who are not just sitting they will walk on the streets they will go out in procession they will file litigation they will use every legal means of fighting against the oppression of women What will be the image of Muslims? Who then will object if you say that our women have a right to dress the way they want? Think about that. But we view everything in a very narrow perspective. When, since when did Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala tell you and me that we are supposed to do to do nahiyan and munkar only with the Muslims? Where did we get this from? The Quran didn't say that. Allah didn't say that. against al munkar all from the oppression what about the people the downtrodden people in my country in india we have the the lower caste hindus or dalits they are treated worse than animals but how many times have we seen the muslims go out hit the street and take out procession and make a public meeting and talk about oppression and say it is haram it is not permitted allah has not permitted you to treat these people in this manner when have we said that Instead, I will. I am telling. I am sitting in the masjid of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and saying it. Come and I'll show it to you. We have places in my country where you go. When you enter a masjid, a Muslim, a, a, a lower caste Dalit Hindu who has converted to Islam, he is not permitted inside the masjid. He is not allowed to worship in the masjid. They say, go out, go out, go out. 
you are a lower caste. Which caste? Which caste? Do we have caste in this religion? If we have caste in the religion, then what do we do with the, with the hadith of the khutbatul wada of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa where he said, all divisions I crush beneath this feet of mine. And he said that an Arab is not superior to a non-Arab. And a red man, meaning the white men, are not superior to a black man. And a black man is not superior to a white man, except on the basis of taqwa, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna akramakum in akum. Where is that religion, my brothers? Where is that religion? What answer are you and I going to give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us? Account for what we have done with the religion that he sent with Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amar bil maru wa nahi anil munkar as collective responsibility of this ummah. As a result of which, wa tu minuna billah. Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets stuck with us, gets strength and becomes firm with Amar bil maru wa nahi anil munkar. Two responsibilities. Both of them intrinsically linked. Personal responsibility, personal of creation for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Maya khalaqtul jinnah wal iliyabudun. Hukumah. Collective reason for creation for the benefit of all of humanity. See the beauty of this deen of God. See the beauty of this deen of ours. Nothing is left incomplete. أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَأَتْمَمْتُ لَكُمْ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ Nothing is left incomplete. Total completion. Individual responsibility. Collective responsibility. Why the individual responsibility first? Because from completing and fulfilling the individual responsibility to get the strength to the work of Amar Bil Maru Panayya Nurun Need strength. Where do you get it from? From connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the methodology Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he said to him, Ya ayyuhal illayla islahu wa al-quran in Inna sanulqi alayka qawlan thakila Inna nashiyat al-layli hiya shabd Hiya shabd wa ta'aw wa qwa buqila The methodology of da'wah that Allah is teaching is Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah is saying, please get up O oh, one who is wrapped and sleeping, get up and stand in the night for the whole night except for a little bit or maybe half the night or something more. And do what? Recite for us our kalam. We have taught you the lesson. Sabak surah. Show us what you have learned. Recite the Quran in a beautiful manner. Why do all this? Because there is a lot of work to be done. Very heavy word we are going to be sending to you. The Ahkam of Islam. Very difficult task. That difficult task to do it, you have to get the energy from, from the Rabbul Alameen. Bring your cell phone and charge it in the night. So it will go dead in your hands in the morning. Lesson is the best thing for self discipline and to understand the kalam of Allah. In the nash yata layli ya ashadu wat aung wa akwa mukhila. See the beauty of this deed. Fulfilling the individual responsibility enables us to fulfill the collective responsibility. Internet share. Google is the most famous. Have you heard Google? Namad Barkatu, you ever share Google? Huh? Huh? That's why we've got more muftis than normal people in the world today. Everybody is a mufti. Go, oh, tick, 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 Google, hara, hara, fatwa, this is hara, this guy, is whatever. No tarbiya, no, com- no coming to the usul. 
The way it was taught by Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or the way it was taught by the ulama of this deen.